Yo, bros, we should pause this bro trip real quick so we can slay some monsters. That's, That's a great a idea! Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. yeah! Let's do it! No. First we should oh, fly. come on, you pansy! No, no, let's do no, it! Let's no, do we should not forget. We should we should uh, need to stop and get some food. What's up, gamers? Welcome to another episode of the Game Stream. This is Wine back here with you. Today we're talking about Final Fantasy 15, which was just recently released from Square Enix. And if you're a big Final Fantasy fan, then you've probably already picked this game up, in my opinion, means nothing to you. But if you're like me and you've never been like a diehard Final Fantasy fan, you've maybe played a couple in the series in the past, and you're a little unsure about this one, maybe you don't like the look of the main character, boy band guys, maybe you saw the Clueless Gamer segment on Conan O'Brien, I don't know, maybe you're just a little skeptical just in general, not really sure if you could pick it up. Well, let's go ahead and dive into it, because that's kind of how I was. I went into it with an open mind, though, uh, saying, you know, hey, it's it's a huge series, it's a big game, major release. Uh, at the very least, you know, maybe I'll just get a little bit of fun out of it, and I know that there's a lot of content, so, you know, I'll, I should be able to get my money's worth, so let's just go ahead and dive into it. Um, well, just... Saying that, it's better than I thought it was going to be. I'm pleasantly surprised so far. I'm having a lot of fun, actually. Um, I think I've just barely scratched the surface of this game, as I'm only in the first little starting area still, starting, starting little desert area. Um, but I have gotten a little taste of the campaign, uh, done a little bit of the some of the main story missions. But so far, I've just been doing kind of some of the, a lot of the hunts that are available to you. They're these kind of bounty hunts where you can go out and kill different creatures for money and such. Um, and then also just figuring out how to travel around the world and getting associated with the characters and the combat. And the combat's actually really fun. I'm a big fan of hack and slash combat. So this action combat is something that's more up my alley than uh, the turn-based or action turn-based that they had sort of in 13. Uh, so... You know, I'm, I'm actually having quite a bit of fun with the combat. Um, you can do a lot of cool things with your your friends. You do these all dif different fun group combos. If you go up behind an enemy, then you can do a link strike. I think we're in for a fight. Got more than we bargained for. I hear that the the combat gets a little bit shallow as not a whole lot changes as you progress through the game. You know, the, you unlock different skills that make your combat a little bit uh, more powerful, but there's not really a whole lot that changes in terms of the mechanics. So, you know, that, that might get a little dry, but, you know, on the surface, it's it's pretty fun. Graphics-wise, this game is gorgeous. It's, it's hard to deny that this is one of the best-looking games on the PS4. It runs nice, frame rate's pretty good, uh, anti-aliasing only gets a little bit off when you get uh, far away from characters that, um, and stuff, but everything looks pretty sharp. All the uh, levels looks really nice, the environments and the characters. And speaking of the characters, you can actually change their outfits, which is something that I was really happy about. You can change them from the very get-go. I was kind of concerned, like, I was like, oh, well, am I going to have to play like 10 hours before I can find a town where I can buy an outfit and then change? And Changing your outfit from the standard uh, black emo boy band stuff does uh, take away from your health and your stats. There is that to keep in mind. So if you do want to change into your casual outfit, which is what I have my guy wearing in most of the gameplay that I'm showing, um, just keep that in mind. But it's not really a big change, and, and it's just my way, I guess, of playing it on sort of uh, weak-ass hard mode. <laughs> I'm just playing it on normal, but I mean... I don't, the, the stat change is very minimal, and I would much rather have a small stat, you know, change than look like I'm in an emo boy band, so, yeah. I did play the demo of this game when I bought the Type-0, Final Fantasy Type-0, and that was a while back. I wasn't really super impressed, and I am more impressed by the actual full game. And let's touch back on the Conan O'Brien segment. Um, first, I just want to say that they, they really went way too hard on that game, I felt like. Now, having played it myself now, uh, like, there's a segment where Elijah Wood's saying, oh, this is what I don't like about RPG games. It's just a bunch of walking around and talking to people. That, that little segment where he's saying that, I thought to myself, oh, well, they must have been playing for a good time, and he's talked to a lot of people. That's the first merchant you talk to in the game. The first merchant you talk to in the game, and he's already, oh, man... I have to talk to so many people. I mean, come the fuck on. Are you kidding me? 
Uh, and then, I mean, I'm not even going to get into some of the other details of what they were talking about. But, I mean, that's just one example. I feel like they just went a little bit too hard. Uh, like, the car pushing segment, the car pushing thing doesn't last very long at all. You you hold down R2, R2 to push the car, and it goes by really quickly. It's just a little opening... It's part of the little opening intro. I mean, it, you don't ever have to do anything like that again from what I've seen. So, there's actually a quest for a cat that I got to do. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so I found this cat. This cat was hungry, so I go on a quest to go find him some food. And that leads you to the fishing, which I'll talk to about in just a second. But after you fish and find the cat some food, uh, or catch the uh, a fish for him, the cat, then you bring the cat the fish. The cat decides, oh, he doesn't want the raw fish. He only eats cooked fish. So you have to go and get the fish cooked. <laughs> and then you bring it back and give it to the cat. And while I'm describing that, I realize it doesn't sound that fun, but it's actually pretty fun. Like, I, I had a lot of fun doing that little thing. I don't know why, uh, that quest that I just described. Um, but uh, I mentioned the fishing. There's a lot of small little mechanics in this game that there's just sort of like side mini games that are actually really well fleshed out like there's this fishing thing that Noctis is really uh, is supposed to be he his skill is fishing the other friends have skills like survival and whatnot um, where you pick up like potions and other goodies from enemies that you kill uh, then there's the guy that just takes photos which honestly is a little bit annoying but whatever anyway but noctis is the fisher in the group so he can fish and then uh and then that gets ingredients for cooking which is one of the things that the other guy does so the fishing mini game was actually like pretty fleshed out and a lot of fun i found myself spending an odd amount of time with it <laughs> it's like it was it was fun you like you know you cast it out then you have to wrestle with not breaking the line and not drawing in the fish too quickly and it was actually really interactive and fun i actually sat there and caught like six fish even though i didn't really need to <laughs> so uh there's also other little mini games that i found uh which brings me to uh some of the little beginner tips that i wanted to say because there's some things that you don't want to miss out on on this in the beginning of this game um <clears throat> and also there's just a couple mistakes that i made that i'd like to help you avoid so uh, there's a pinball machine that's in the second little area that you go to. So you start out at a gas station sort of thing after your car breaks down, you get the car fixed. The next little area that you go to is this little rest stop. When you're there, you can go into the diner and there's a little pinball machine. And the pinball game is actually pretty well fleshed out also. And I spent like an hour playing it. I'm not kidding. I sit there for like an hour playing this silly pinball game because it was actually pretty fun. You're like killing monsters with this pinball it, it was it was a lot of fun and then after you're done you actually get a pretty sweet reward out of it which i'm going to show you here and then some other tips that i have for you um I would definitely suggest doing all the hunts that are available. Those are the bounty hunt things for these strange creatures that are around different monsters. You get them from the different diners and anybody, all the, the, the dudes that sell food. You go in and if you're going to buy food, you can also ask them for a hunting quest. So yeah, I would definitely suggest doing all those because they get you a lot of money in the beginning and it also gets you associated with combat and gets you a lot of XP. So I would definitely recommend doing those. But while you're doing those, here brings me to my second tip. Remember that once you run out and do the a little bit annoying part of running out to find the monsters, and once you kill them, remember you don't have to run back because that's what I did quite a bit. Uh, your car is probably going to be parked next to the quest turn in, so you can actually teleport back to your car. So remember to teleport back to your car and don't run back because that's something that I did a couple times and I was like, why am I running so much? So yeah. Just keep that in mind, maybe. Don't miss the pinball machine. Um, and yeah, that's that's about it for my tips. I don't really have a whole lot, but I just wanted to put those in there really quickly. There seems to be a lot of attention paid to food and ingredients in this game, which is, you know, that's fine. There's a lot of different uh, foods that you can make that give you different buffs, and you have to camp and whatnot to eat them. And uh, the camping... The camping mechanic, I will say, is getting a little bit old. I feel like it's because, like, I want to... There's sometimes when I just want to keep on going, and my dudes are like, we need to stop and camp, bro. So, <laughs> I don't know. That gets a little bit old sometimes, but I don't know. It's also immersive, 
And that brings me to my last little comments on this uh, <clears throat> game so far. Just my first impressions of this first segment. As I said, I've only kind of scratched the surface of the game. Um, the way that you get around the map, aside from, you can teleport, and that's just, you know, that's not what I'm talking about. The, the car driving, where you can either have your friend Ignis, it's just one of your little party members, drive the car for you to the different locations, and you sit in the car, and as you're seeing, you know, every, all your little bros go on your bro trip, and go down the road, and listen to music together. <laughs> uh, I don't know, just that mode of moving through the world is actually really immersive and just makes the world feel a lot more open and real so that's something that i actually like you can also drive the car yourself manually if you want to but i just have the guy automatically do it while i sit back and relax <laughs> for a little bit in between gameplay segments and with that i think we're gonna wrap it up uh, as always if you like what i'm doing here on the game stream then be sure to hit the subscribe button it really helps me out i'm kind of a new channel so just starting to get that little initial following if you also picked up this game yourself and have something to say about it then be sure to leave a comment down below i love to hear what you guys say if you have a suggestion like hey zwyan you're missing out on this part of the game or maybe you should do this or you have some other tips for other people that are just starting the game or getting into the midpoints of the game then maybe just leave a comment down there below it's always great to interact with people and we're going to see you every monday and friday here on the game strain so we're going to see you on monday Bleah!